Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connection video where we're exploring the crystal of green diopside. Now diopside does come in a couple of other colours, black star diopside is one of my favourites and you get a blue diopside as well, but there's just something about this colour of this green crystal that really draws me in. I find there are so many different green crystals and often people ask me, you know, what crystal is this? And if it's green, I normally throw my hands up in the air and get stumped really quickly. But you see, you get these really vibrant, bright, bright colors in this crystal and it really draws me in. As you probably guessed by now, I have a strong connection to nature and love spending time out in nature. And I find this crystal to be one of the ultimate ones for connecting with Mother Gaia. So in this video, we're gonna explore why I love green diopside. And if you don't have it in your collection just yet, I hope to awaken a new love in you as well. As I mentioned in the introduction, green diopside really helps you to form a really great connection with Mother Gaia. Wearing it over the heart or meditating it while sitting in nature will help you to feel the heartbeat of this planet and nature as it breathes as you breathe as well. Now, when, as we start to form this deeper connection, sometimes we can be a little bit concerned about Earth, but this will really help to inspire you and give you motivation on what you can do on a day-to-day -day basis and more so making your life um, effective in helping to be of service to Mother Earth. And everything that you do is for her greater good rather than her detriment. Now, there are many people, including myself, that are seriously concerned about what is happening to the Earth about how much forest we're losing, how many animals are becoming um, extinct, and you know, everything bad that's happening. And we also see how erratically the climate has become. This is, can be a really nice reassuring crystal as well. And I find that it helps you to understand that Mother Earth knows what she's doing. She will return us back to balance one way or another. Now, this can be in a destructive way with massive storms and hurricanes and tsunamis and that type of thing and, and heat waves and fires and that, or we can start to work harmoniously, definitely. But there is a reassurance that don't worry about the earth, just do your bit on whatever you can. And green diopside gives you that kind of confidence to work in, in with mother nature and feel that oneness that you're on the same team and that she is ultimately supporting you in your growth and your experience. Green diopside is a beautiful crystal for really opening the heart. Meditate with it there or wear it over the heart to really help you open up with compassion and empathy. I find often, you know, with many of the challenges and burdens that we have in life, this crystal can help you to understand what's happening to other people and also kind of lighten the load and, and kind of encourage you to lighten up a little bit and have a buoyant heart no matter what troubles you're facing. This can be a really great um, stone for people that are going through an addiction. And obviously addictions, there's some big kind of troubles and thoughts and challenges going through within. And this can help to lighten the heart and help us to allow the love of other people and the support of other people to help us get through this tricky time. Sometimes we're in a situation where we're helping a family member. Maybe a family member's got a disability or going through some challenges. And that can be really challenging for us, but challenging for that person as well. Empathy is definitely needed and green diopside is going to help with that as well. When it comes to redundancy, you know, suddenly we're, we, we lose a job and we're not too sure how we're going to be able to pay our bills or that we're going to have to reskill or something like that. That can make us feel really uneasy and nervous. But green diopside is great for allowing us to find new opportunities and learn new skills and retain them as well. So really great to reassure you if you have suddenly lost your job. If you have learning difficulties or you're working with someone with learning difficulties, again, this one takes away the stress of, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, and just allows you to focus on what you can do and what you are achieving, focusing on the wins rather than the struggles all the time. If you are going through any process of grief at the moment, the loss of a loved one or the loss of anything in your life, a lot of people during the pandemic have been you know, there's a lot of grief around lost opportunities, not being able to do things, not life not being the same. And this can really help to lighten the heart in that way as well. If you are carrying past pain that still kind of trips you up today and kind of resurfaces from time to time and affects the current relationships or how you act today, green diopside can help you to do that. Or if you've just got too much on, if you're carrying the burdens of a family and work and all the different things, it just feels really kind of heavy this can be a great crystal. Finally, 
often when we have a burden, we need to kind of discuss it with someone. Maybe there's a challenge, a bit of conflict that needs to be talked about and kind of sort, find a resolution. Making the first move and sitting to, and, and you know saying the first words to start that conversation can be challenging. But green diopside is a really great crystal to help you make that first move and open up the dialogue so you can find a resolution and move forward in a more positive manner for both you and that other person as well. Green diopside also has this reputation for being a crystal that can help you to gather information. So it helps its guardian, especially this is a good crystal to hold onto for a long time, not to kind of gift quite quickly, because it gradually works with you more and more, bringing more and more information in. So this is sometimes known as an information dowser. It helps you find the right details that you need. So if you're going to a library or museum or um, searching for particular answers, then having this crystal nearby can really lead you in that right direction. Another way of using this to get insight is popping green diopside in your pillow slip. And sometimes the information you need or the guidance that is just right for you at that time will come to you through your dreams. Being a green crystal, of course, this can be a really great healing crystal as well. And I find that there's this dance between this earth energy and air energy in green diopside, and it really helps us to not just heal and find ways to heal, but also to understand the deeper reasons, reasons behind health concerns, addictions, or eating disorders. So if you are having a bit of a challenge at the moment with energy or pain or an addiction or something like that, let's go deeper. Why is this actually happening? What is your body trying to tell you? Remember, pain is your body lovingly telling you that something's not right. And sometimes I, I can speak from my own experience. It can be frustrating when you're not, not sure what your body's trying to tell you. But by working green dioxide, you'll start to find these different insights will come in and you'll start to know the deeper reason. Maybe it's a, a mental or emotional or even a spiritual reason that something is occurring. Once we know what it is, we know how to deal with it, we can tackle that and we may start to find that the healing from whatever we're troubled by happens a lot quicker. Because there's a bit of a dance between air with that f being able to find information and being able to work through different things, and there's also that real earth connection, you can use either the element of air, putting the crystal outside to cleanse, or leaving it on the earth or even burying it in the earth if it's a tumbled stone overnight um, to cleanse it and bring it back to its natural balance. You can also bring in other gifts of nature and from the gift of the universe to help you work with this crystal more and get more out of your relationship with it. So I love working with essential oils and the essential oil that really kind of connects with green dioxide in a really powerful nurturing way is Douglas fir. Now Douglas fir has this fresh green aroma, which I kind of really kind of links in with the color I feel, but there is a long tradition and many stories and myths from North America about Douglas fir as a tree being protective, being nurturing, being all encompassing and looking out for the welfare of humanity and different individuals throughout time. So this is a really great oil because green dioxide has that earth connection and helping you find information that they tie in really well together. So diffusing or inhaling Douglas fir essential oil while you're working with green um, diopside in meditation or just if you're focusing on that crystal for a period of time can be really powerful. When it comes to um, animals that come with green diopside, you know, a couple pop up. You know, sometimes, you know, Douglas fir often has the great grey owl which is a massive owl, and owls are very much about silent wisdom. And how we learn from Mother Earth and learn her wisdom and how we find information is often when we quieten our mind and just become more aware of what's happening around us and can be guided more freely. And so owls teach us about that. Great grey owls are found normally where Douglas fir trees grow as well. The other one is a bit of an Australian one, but it's the 28 parrot. So the 28 parrot is this vibrant green parrot, sometimes also known as a ring neck. It's got a darker head with a yellow ring around its neck. And of course, parrots are all about self-expression and that joy. And they often, whatever their plumage color is, is what chakra that works with. So a green parrot is very much expression of the heart and giving more love and joy. And that ties in really well. Astrologically, Venus, of course, having that connection to the Earth, but also the asteroid Ceres is also very much about Mother Earth as well. 
Venus rules Friday, so that is going to be your power day, the best day to do any major workings with green diopside. Things like maybe doing a meditation for healing of the earth or awakening humanity's awareness and connection with Mother Earth as well. Really great to do on a Friday. The final correspondent that I find could work really well with this is the Archangel Raphael. Now we know Archangel Raphael resonates with other crystals such as emerald, and this kind of looks a bit and has a kind of similar energy to um, emerald in the way that there's this interplay between intellect and finding information and getting answers and that earth connection and healing connection as well. Raphael is the great healing archangel, not only brings us healing, but also brings us awareness on how to find healing and again, those root causes as I spoke about before. Now, have you worked with Green Diopside? Have you got any experience with it? Please share with our crystal loving community and leave a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.